Aranui is a, a very tight net tribe. It's a family-based community. You just feel like you're at home. It's a very incredibly supportive community, both inside and outside school. It's a vibe like, you know, no one's going to stab you in the back kind of thing. Like, you, everyone's got your back in the hood. And if you're from Aitan, then it's good. The Fano was the highlight for me right through my high school years. The community has always got around the school and supported it. Aranui celebrates um, the school's achievements. The amazing part of Aranui High School is definitely the people. There's a group of six girls from um, Aranui that I hung out with and the six of us are still best friends and we still see each other all the time. And I think Aranui really did engender that sort of sense of loyalty and cohesion. We have a real cross-section of, you know, of, of students here that, that makes my life richer. One of the things I found most exciting was the huge family commitment to education for our Pacifica young people. Families work incredibly hard, often at two or three jobs, to give their fit young people the opportunities to take that next step. And that commitment is massive. When you have that synergy of, of the capacity of Māori talking together and laughing together, then it's going to only um, reflect and rebound in the school. And the students pick that up. It's about picking up the warmth, um, you know, the aroha, the, the whanaungatanga that goes with being in, you know, amongst that group. A lot of us from backgrounds where you didn't just get handed stuff, you know, you made what you got out of life, so you um, had to pursue opportunities to improve your situation and a lot of students really, really went for it. As soon as you say where you're from, people kind of look at you differently. A lot of people stereotype us and they don't understand where we come from and we weren't born with silver spoons in our mouths. No child should feel ashamed of their school or embarrassed about their school. If they are, it should be for very good reason. Um, in the, in the sense that they're not getting a good education or that there are real issues at a school, not because of the type of people that go to the school or the area that they live in, because that is not the measure of a school. Christchurch isn't always kind in its comments around our school, and as a result it's a bit like a family. You band together and you support each other. We have been able to support each other through A, earthquakes, <laughs> and B, the closing down of our school. <laughs> We've been able to support each other and take care of each other um, because we want to be the best for our students. We've been through a lot of adversity, particularly in recent years, and that support has just grown and that people are incredibly caring and incredibly helpful. I found it really inspiring and the teachers were fantastic. I have to say, yeah, the most amazing thing here at Aranui are the staff. They're awesome. They, they taught me a lot and I just feel like, like just easier to connect with. The staff here at Aranui High have always given the extra mile. They have always seen a student and say, we can do something that you don't believe in at the moment and they get on side with that family, they get on side with the student. They're so committed to helping you achieve. I think I can put a lot of that success, my own personal success, at the door of Aranui and, and um, at the feet of the, of the teachers that guided me. They love their children. Any school children that come to Aranui is well looked after. They rely on us to do the right thing because often we're the person with the knowledge that's going to give them the next doorway and we have that responsibility. I think you have to be a role model in the school to attract, you know, students. They've actually developed me as a person to be a good woman, you know, and accept people for who they actually are. The staff that have been here and stayed here have really put their heart and soul into the school and to the students and the families 
and as a result um, we see the, the, the successes that we've had. I learned so much, um, not just about English and maths and science and geology and all that sort of thing, uh, I learned about myself and I learned about my people uh, and I learned about the world and what it's really like, you know. So I felt when I left that I was really well equipped to make whatever I wanted to make of myself. One of the biggest things is they've never assumed they know Pacific students. So here at Anoy we don't assume that all Pacific students are the same. Um, they've actually, we have actually taken the time to get to know each particular student, being familiar with their needs and then being able to cater for them that way. I find the openness of students enriching. Um, and knowing that you definitely make a difference in the lives of these young people. These students who are straight up, you know, who talk direct to me, and, that, and I like that, because it's all about, um, you know, being, having that straight line between, you know, a teacher and the student, and, you know, just creating those relationships. For me, one of the greatest successes has been able to see students know that they can do something. They're so cool. The students here are so cool. Mm. <laughs> I feel to this day so lucky that I went to that school. It, it's really special. They're, they're a special community. It's really been nice to be involved with it. I'm really, um, you know, really just honoured, really, to be a, in this community. See